This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, now that some of the details have emerged and Donald Trump himself has even admitted to it, I want to put a finer point on this national security nightmare that's been unnecessarily created by our feckless president. First, let's talk about what exactly took place. You know, as a nation, we have many allies around the world and we share sensitive intelligence information that we gather with many of them. Oftentimes, we have reciprocal intel agreements. You know, kind of a, I'll show you mine if you show me yours sort of deal. These relationships are vitally important because it's easier for some nations to grow embeddable assets than it is for us oftentimes. One of those very international allies is Israel, and they spent immeasurable time, blood, and treasure getting a human intelligence asset embedded with ISIS, undercover, somewhere on the ground in Iraq and or Syria. This part is important. This isn't a drone or a listening device. This is a human being, a person with a life and a family who love them. And this individual is risking their life and likely that of their family in the execution of their duty to relay intel to us on the global terror-related mission details of ISIS. So the other day, Donald Trump was meeting with the Russians, including Sergei Kislyak, who is a, who's well known to the US intelligence structure as a Russian recruiter for both spies and intelligence assets generally. During this meeting, Donald Trump was acting like a, the insecure little boy that he is, and he wanted to impress the big kids. So he began to brag about what great intelligence he has about ISIS now that he's president. In the course of his bragging he and, and boasting, he gave these representatives of an adversarial government top secret details that aren't even shared within some of the highest levels of government. And they were given to us by Israel, which again has this person who is an embedded Islamic State asset, even going as far as naming the city in which this embedded individual is, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs for the Russians to follow to try to determine the rest of our sources and methods. All right, well, let's establish a few things. Russia isn't our friend. Our allies aren't their allies. Russian interests do not align with the interests of the United States. In fact, our intelligence partners are countries like Israel, Great Britain, France, Australia, and Russia's are places with despotic dictatorships like Syria, Iran, and North Korea. So Donald Trump stabbed an ally of ours in the back by giving top secret intelligence to known international adversaries and spy recruiters. Donald Trump did two things here. He destroyed that reciprocal intelligence relationship and he's directly putting the life of that embedded Israeli asset and likely their family at risk. Under the law, if anyone else had done this, they would be arrested. It's only because dumb guy Donald is president that he isn't in handcuffs indicted for espionage. Where are the Republicans on this? This isn't some partisan policy matter like taxes or corporate regulatory structure. This is terror and the future security of the United States of America and our citizens. There are lives at stake here. So listen, Republicans, come out from hiding under your desks and say something, do something, do your jobs, reach across the aisle to protect America and her people. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you like what I do here and you appreciate it, go ahead and uh, click subscribe. And if you really like it and appreciate what I do and you'd like to, to join my Patreon family, there's another link there for that. It's not just for the podcast. <laughs> it's also for YouTube. Thanks a lot.